Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on calling Fusion application forms through OTBI report output. So what it means? So it means that suppose I had created one OTBI report and based on that report I want to call some other forms. So how to do that? Okay, so I will tell you this requirement practically. So I am going to my Fusion instance. So I had already built this report. So I'm going to explain you that what is our aim that we are trying to achieve over here and then we will try to execute it. So here you can see that this account number, this account number is having some hyperlink. So if I clicked on this hyperlink, so it is having the two hyperlink that is an A and B. So suppose I clicked on A, so it will uh, redirect me on some form. If I clicked on the B, so it will redirect me on the some other form so first link which is for my manage customer and second list is for editing the customer detail okay so it is the predefined or this is the seeded form of the oracle fusion okay so we had not built this so it is automatically redirecting on it so we are going to see that how to achieve this requirement okay so before starting i just want to tell you that if you are new on my channel please like share subscribe my channel if if you want to learn Oracle Fusion from starting, so go through my Fusion playlist for more details. Continue to the topic. So we are trying to achieve the call Fusion application forms through OTBI report output. Okay, so first of all, we will create one OTBI report. Then I will tell you that how to call the some other seeded form using that report. So here I am on the home page of an Oracle Fusion instance. So I am going to the catalog page of the Fusion instance so you know that how to go to the catalog page if you don't know please go through my previous videos so i am on the catalog page of an oracle fusion instance so here we are we have to create one otba report so that's why i am just clicking on this new and then after analysis so this time we will create one receivable reports okay so this is my receivable subject area that is a receivable customer real time so i am just clicking on that subject area and it will redirect me on another page so we are on the home page of otbi creation so you can see this is my subject area and under this subject area i am having this this much of the list so here we will take some customer details so just i am going to the customer accounts then here is the customer account details and from this i am just taking this account number so i am just double clicking on it then I am just taking the address details. So I am just minimizing this one. And then I am taking the address. So address is from the customer account sites. Okay. Then after we are having the customer account site detail. Then here is a site address. So we will take two columns from here. So let me go down. So I am just taking site account address set and the site number so only three columns i am taking you can take number of n columns whatever you want but here i am just telling you the concept so for this concept i am just taking only three so i am just going to the result tab so you can see that this much of the data is generated for the respective otbi report report is generated now you can see there is a no hyperlink i am just saving this report so i am saving this report into the shared folder and my respective custom folder so i am just giving the name as supplier underscore drill underscore down because this is the supplier drill down report so i'm just copying the same name and pasting into the description section and just clicking on the ok button so you can see that it is saved now what we have to do we have to do the drill down okay for that what we have to do just have to go to the criteria so this is my criteria i am having this three columns into the criteria but after clicking on this account number i want to give the hyperlink so that's why i have to go to the column properties and here is an interaction in my previous video i already explained you some of the interactions so you can go through that also for more details so here is a value so on value we have to create the drop down and here we have to create the action links so i'm just clicking on the action link okay then here we have to add one another action link so i'm just clicking on the plus button so now 
before creating the action link so i want to tell you that some details so what type of an action link name or what type of an url we have to give so that all details i have to share with you so i am having one document that is a drill down from otbi ad hoc report to transaction detail in oracle fusion okay so this is nothing but the oracle defined document so anyone had not defined it oracle only had defined it but it is in some segments and i had combined that respective document for you so which is nothing but the it is the white paper which is created by the oracle so i am going down so you can see here so how much drill down we can create so oracle had given us the categories where we can do the drill down so here is an one drill down that is nothing but the payable invoice and payments okay so in payable we can do this four subcategory drill down okay then in general ledger we can do the edit journal then here is an a fixed asset here we can do this much of the addition then after we are having the receivables in receivables we can do this much of this transactions and the last one is nothing but the we are having the sub ledger accounting journal okay where we can do only this one type of an activity okay how we can do that for that first i am going back to the fusion instance so here is an action link so after clicking on the action link what we are going to do we are going to edit the customer detail so i am just giving the prompt as edit customer details okay this is my prompt so i am going back to the report which i am already generated so here what happened here are the two prompt that is an a b so b is nothing but the my edit customer okay so here i had given the label as an b but here in our real time scenario what i had did i had given this edit customer detail so it will appears like some prompt okay so there is an b so instead of b it will print edit customer detail now what we have to do there is an one plus icon so i have to click on this plus icon so what we have to do navigate to the web page so that is the web page and we want to navigate to the web page so there are different types of an contents which we can achieve from here okay so i already explain you some of this in my previous videos you can check the my other videos for that but here we are trying to achieve navigate to the web page so i'm just clicking on this navigate to the web page and here is some url we have to give here okay then there is in some default parameter okay so for every activity which i shown you in this document we are having some different url that url we have to provide over there okay so that all the different url i had combined in one document and under my video i am going to give you the link for that so which url or which parameters we want to use over there okay so on one notepad for this requirement i had already noted that url so what we have to do so here is an http then host name so i have to replace this host name with my existing host name which i am using for my oracle fusion instance okay then there is an some constant path then there is an uh, at the rate one then there is an at the rate two three four and the five so these are nothing but the respective parameters which we have to give over there so which are that parameters so i am having that list of the parameters also with me so i am just pasting that parameters over here so these are that five respective parameters okay so first one is an ar customer account so second one is an edit for third fourth and fifth we have to give the column values so for third one it is an account number fourth one it is an site number and the fifth one is an a site account address set okay so this respective parameter we have to give so i am just replacing this host name with my existing host name which i am using so i am just removing this part till host name and i am just pasting my host name link so then after we have to give the single slash and as it is same link i am copying and i am going back to the fusion instance this is my existing report which we are developing and i am just pasting that link over here okay then we have to provide some parameters so how i can provide that parameter so here we have to click on the define parameters okay 
so as soon as we clicked on the defined parameter it will generate one another window and here there is no parameter initially but we have to add that parameter so i am clicking on the plus icon so here we can give the prompt also and here we have to give the value so for values we just have to go to notepad and have to copy the same name which we had given over there and we have to paste it over here similarly we have to add the second parameter so second parameter is nothing but the edit so i have to copy it and instead of value i have to paste that then i have to add the third parameter so my third parameter is which parameter so my third parameter which is coming from the report so i am just giving here the column value so as soon as i give the column value it will enable one the drop down so we can select different types of value using this drop down so my first value which i have to select over here that is the account number we can see over here okay so i am going back there and i am just selecting the customer account number then again next fourth parameter we have to add and fourth parameter also we have to make it as an a column value and from the list which we have to choose so here is an a site number okay so the we are going to select the site number then one more and the last parameter we have to add that also we have to select as an a column value and the last column value which is remaining that is site account address set so that we have to select okay so all the five parameters are selected then here is an one option button so what we have to do over here so here we have to check the checkbox of open in new window because after clicking on that respective particular link it have to go to another page for opening that respective detail or drill down detail so i am just clicking on okay over here then again here okay then again here okay and the last one here also click on the okay so i am just going to the result section okay now you can see that my result section is generated and here previously it was just a simple number now it has converted to the hyperlink so if i clicked on any of this number so it will give me that prompt so edit customer details which we had given while creating the report and when i clicked on this edit customer detail it will ask me to execute or not okay and when i click on execute it will execute it so here you can see that it is the name of the respective customer it is the number which we had clicked okay and all the other detail which, which is entered while creating this user okay so i'm going back to our report again and i am just opening now this time 10020 as the account number i am just clicking over here and here is an edit customer detail and here we have to click on execute now you can see that it is the some other customer that is an easy solution and the customer number or we can say that the account number which is 10020 which we already clicked okay so this is nothing but the how to go on the other form if you want to make any type of a change you can make the change over here and here you can click on the save button okay so by this report, you can go to any of the new customer and you can check the details so by this way we can call the seeded oracle fusion form using the otbi report output okay so this is one of the way and this is the document which is telling us that on which type of an report we can execute it okay so from this entire i had just taken only one example of the receivable that that is nothing but the edit customer account only one so you can achieve all the mention things over here but for that you need one url as well as you need the parameters for that url so for all that details i will draft one document and i will share the link for the document under my video okay so if you are having any doubts you can write into the comment section please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching